T. Olive Harvest, William Hovey Smith, 2024. I live in central rural Georgia, and I keep about a four-acre yard, and this has large old pecan trees in it, and very often during the year, I find myself with chainsaws cutting pecan. Now, many times I use this pecan wood for cooking, and I split up what I can use and grill things like wild hog hams, and I have a recent video about that. Also, I take the wood and make charcoal to burn in my forge. A knife maker, I made more knives formerly than I do at the present time, and uh, yeah, uh, that's the use of some of my wood. Currently, I do more writing, and I have both outdoor books and business books and novels, as well as a series of inexpensive e-books on detailed aspects of muzzleloading and muzzleloading hunting. Now, we have a series of rare trees around our yard. And one unusual one is tea olive. Uh, tea olive is mostly known as a shrub that has a fragrant blossom. Well, it also grows to tree size. And I have a tree in the hedgerow beside my yard, and it had a large limb that was dropping lower and lower to the ground. And finally, while it did not fall, it was low enough that it interfered with my grass cutting. And so I cut it. Now, tea olive is unusual in that it has a very white wood. And it is valuable for use in things like making Native American flutes, as well as pins. So when I have a good log fall, uh, I cut it up and take it up to a friend who makes these flutes and pins out of it. And here you see a couple of the recent branches that I cut and uh, drug up to his house along with uh, some other wood which happens to be persimmon. Now when he makes his pins uh, he has to turn this wood to very thin shapes and these are the pin blanks and some of the wood actually uh, in the foreground and it's spots and it gives very colorful and interesting planks such as these that I have cut uh, from a slab. Now, most people would think the highest use of this wood is actually for making flutes. And it does make a spectacular flute, as you see again in this example. And the music you've heard in the background is my friend Billy Krantz playing a tune on this very flute. But now, this is Hovey Smith. Reminding you to hunt what you eat and eat what you hunt. Be legal, be ethical, be safe, goodbye, God bless, and see you next time.